Well, hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Sarah Dawn and I'm just doing my part to put an end to the gender wars. I provide educational information about men and women to help bridge the gap sprinkled with a little humor and a dose of sarcasm. So today I want to share a clip with you from a very impactful discussion I had with nine amazing ladies who all subscribe to my channel. I held a couple of different panel discussions, one with men and one with women, which will be included in my course that will be launching the middle of February. You can sign up with the link in the description. So I'm in the process of moving into a larger place and will have a new studio where I'll be doing regular panel sessions. I'll be inviting men and women to have discussions with one another on my YouTube lives and I will be the moderator. My goal is for each side to be able to have a robust discussion with one another and for everyone to watch. My family is scared for me, but I love a challenge, so I guess we'll see how it goes. If you want to volunteer to be a part of this, write me at saradonmore.com and in the subject line, put panel discussion. I will need men and women. So this particular panel covered a whole host of topics as to what women find attractive in the opposite sex, why intimacy dries up in a marriage. And lastly, I asked them what was one thing that they wanted to share with the men who subscribed to my channel. It was authentic, real, and exactly what this channel is about. I hope you enjoy. As well. I think, and this was like kind of like a biological switch I wasn't ready for in myself, but like when they give off, like they would be a good dad. <laughs> like that's such a weird, awkward, yes. like attraction <laughs> trait that I was never prepared for to find attractive. But I think it means like, for example, like they're reliable, they're consistent, like they're dependable, um, like they follow through with what they say. Like that's something that I think is very attractive. So yeah. So let's talk about men in the friend zone. I think I see a hundred different titles and videos and posts and TikToks and Instagram. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this friend zone is just like a, such a thing that people talk about. So at a time, I will say it was very unfair to men. Um, I would keep them in a friend zone just to keep my options open, which is hypocritical because I wouldn't want a man to do that to me. But I definitely took advantage of those things in my 20s. Um, and... Uh, it's selfish and I think when a man respects himself enough to be like don't keep me waiting I'm not going to entertain you when you entertain me then you can get out of the friend zone in a very quick way if it's done like tactfully and it's like listen don't string me along like this is what I want if it's not you just and then I'm like oh well I haven't seen you in this light actually I kind of saw you as someone who was always going to be there but maybe the fear of losing you makes me assess like what you mean to me or just the fact that you're taking on this more direct approach of like, I know you have a bunch of guys, but this is what I want and I'm not competing with anybody. Don't waste my time. Bye. Then I'm like, oh, hold on one second. You know, it has it's happened to me like one time. I'm not saying it happens all the time. But when someone respects themselves enough to speak up and say, I know the game that you're playing and I'm not going to participate. I'm like, wow. OK. I have to respect you because you're commanding respect. So over time, those amazing friendships, they do want something more. And I don't and, and the same thing, I used to be naive and think, you know, they think like I do, like we're just amazing friends. But the, a lot of times they don't. And that's why we have the idea of they can remain in the friend zone. But I think guys want more and they have to understand that we don't always see it that way. And we want to just keep them as friends. Yeah, I definitely agree. like if they have strong opinions that I should feel a certain way without getting to know what I think and feel. That's very frustrating to me. I, I move away from that quickly. Can you give me an yeah, give me an example. Yeah. Um, when they say some of the comments, I say I shouldn't feel that way or they're surprised. I think that and or why? Why would you feel that way? And I'm open to a discussion with it, but it's more of a you're stupid um, for thinking this. You should think my way. That drives me nuts. Um, and one guy I went out with, um, and he's like, I can't believe I'm with the hot girl from the dance. I'm like, okay, no, 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 no. You're with me. Get to know me. I'm not that. So they kind of build up this perception of who I'm going to be and this expectation that I'm never going to be able to meet instead of just getting to know me. I think, um, being in alignment with your integrity. So when you say you're going to do something, just do it. Like, don't talk about it. Just do it. So I think, um, 
that's a big hang up for me. Like, I'd rather see you do it than hear about you maybe doing it, not do it. So just do it and be done. <laughs> but I think the talk is, it's cheap. And I don't, I don't watch men's words anymore. I watch their actions and I form my judgment based off their actions, not off the words. Words are a dime a dozen. I just want to, everyone is collectively not. <laughs> yep. Just to the men that are watching, you know, uh, that, that is a, a thing saying something and they're not following through. It's um, they have their perception on that as well, but just know that, that, you know, there's a lot of women that have experienced that with men. Like there's some things that I've done to emasculate men or that have caused, you know, them to feel not good about themselves. Oh, I could, I could definitely answer this one. <laughs> So um, in our marriage, this was something you actually really helped me out with, Sarah. So I have to thank you for this because um, I spent a lot of time in our marriage um, feeling very frustrated when my husband came home from work and he's a carpenter. He works in the construction field. So you know how men are direct with each other. Well, it's like 10 times that in the construction field. So I would get really frustrated when he would come home and he just kind of like shut himself out and needed to just like get away and have some alone time. Like I was like, why don't you want to spend time with me? Why don't you want to like hang out with me while we have time to do that? And now I understand like he needs that time to decompress and he needs to release all the stress from fighting and working all day and dealing with people who are really hard to be around sometimes. And so now I understand like, okay, when my husband comes home, I've learned to give him like an hour to himself and he comes out of that hour, like so ready to interact with me, our kids. And he's just so much more um, like soft and ready to like have a good time together. Give one piece of advice for men. One thing about women that maybe they don't know or that you would like them to know. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. My advice is to just hang in there. It's a tough world for men right now. They don't have a lot of ways to speak or express themselves. A lot of them have been so hurt that they can't move forward. So just be brave and hang in there. So we hear a lot of women being told not to settle. I would definitely tell the men, do not settle. Um, I, I want to apologize for believing this lie that I can have it all, that I don't need a man, that children are a burden, that my career is more important than anything, that my bank account um, can replace a person being a husband for me. I'm so sorry that I was this feminist that media, movies, songs, uh, influencers were convincing me that I can do everything by myself and that being feminine and vulnerable was the wrong thing to do and um, that I can choose to be masculine when it's a role that I don't want, I'm not qualified for, and therefore I cannot tell men what to do. So I just want to apologize for my part in it, for believing all this BS and um, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll do more healing on our end, women, because uh, we're going to bear these children, so we need to get it together. And if I have a boy and I have that mentality, like I would never want to convince my son that he has to, you know, downplay his masculinity to make a woman feel comfortable. Not okay. So I'm just so sorry. Yeah. Um, I know that just from everything that I see, it just seems so discouraging right now to be a man and to have like accusations just flung at you. Um, in every direction in the media. But I feel like there are a lot of us women that are starting to wake up to this and we're starting to see through the lies of the media. We're smart and we're, we're catching on. This is not going to be a forever thing, I believe, um, where men are, you know, really thrown away so much. Um, so there are a lot of women who are starting to understand what's going on and we're leaving this feminist movement, me included. Um, and I believe that, uh, you know, you just have to just believe that if you're looking for a woman who's understanding as, and he's, who's not going to emasculate you, we are out there. And there are a lot of us. You just like, um, like Alana was saying, don't settle just because you think they're not out there and that you can't find someone who's going to give you the respect that you deserve. Um, yeah. Take care of yourself when you're down before you get back with somebody else. 
Um, I would say thank you for all the ways that you show up for us. Um, I know you do a lot in the background and you often go unthanked, but you are often making sure that we're well taken care of and that you're creating a space for us to be able to be ourselves. And a lot of what you do goes unnoticed. So don't stop. Thank you so much for making sure that we're well taken care of, even whenever we don't notice it. So, yeah. I would say, like, keep learning about us. Keep that curiosity <laughs> on and yeah it's still we are like there are a lot of women out there that are still feminine and believe in in gentlemen and we want we want real gentlemen so yeah that's that's pretty much what i need to say uh, i was thinking kind of along the lines of what the last several ladies shared um there are good women out there um we do still appreciate gentlemen we do still appreciate a man who will hold the door for us and open the car door and you know walk on the the street side of the sidewalk and all those old-fashioned chivalrous things those show that you care um, and there are women out there who will appreciate that and if that's the kind of man that you are and you and you just keep running into these women who are just strong and independent they don't need a man move on if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my newsletter please do so at the link in the description you'll also find a waitlist for my his and her course which will be launching right after Valentine's Day. There is over six hours of content and everything that you have ever wanted to know about men and women, what they want from an evolutionary perspective, panel discussions, my sense of humor, as well as research backed answers to many of the questions that I receive from my audience. Thank you for your support and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like what you're learning.